Hey guys, I'm here with a review for the uh, cat and mouse video game uh, Dead by Daylight. I would not really call it a horror game. It might be scary the first time you play it and if you've literally never seen or heard anything about it, but it's more of a competitive multiplayer game than anything else. And it really shouldn't be, to be honest, but it, that, that is what it is, so... Yeah, um, what's, so I guess the plot is that there's this mysterious entity that has, uh, wants a bunch of blood sacrifices, so it recruits a bunch of, uh, killers from various famous movies, and also the game creates its own lore and has some in, uh, unique killers, so... Yeah, um, this game still remains relevant. I think it's going to go on strong for a very long time. Um, it's uh, kind of the king of its genre, right? It doesn't have a ton of competition, but uh, far from perfect, okay? Far, absolutely far from perfect. I've sunk hundreds of hours into this game. I do like it, but I will, I'm going to give you some big red flags and warnings in this video. So uh, let's talk about what I like about it because I'm sure I'll be much more passionate about the stuff I don't like. So. I love the fact that it's taking a bunch of famous movie characters and throwing them into an arena together um, while all the killers have the same basic attack they still all feel very unique and distinguished from each other they're all they all play very differently each match is different um, and even though it is like a gameplay loop it doesn't feel repetitive even if it is it doesn't feel repetitive this is a game you can play for hours on hours on ends every single day for the rest of your life and you'll never get bored of it. It just has that much of a mastered gameplay loop. Um, and uh, yeah, really all the praise I have to give is to Killer. I think playing as Survivor is extremely boring um, and I think it's flawed. But uh, I, I kill every, is the reason I play this game mostly, although I am an achievement hunter so I play both sides a lot. But I really only play Survivor to achievement hunt. I play Killer all the time though, just for fun. Um, so yeah. And I'm pretty good at it as well. I've gotten iridescent rank 1 a few times as killer. I've never gotten it as survivor. Just never, uh, although rank is really more playtime based than skill or anything like that. But, um, yeah, is that it? Well, also, I will say I like, I like this art style. I don't even know if art style is the right word. But I like how realistic everything looks. And I like that the various medias, you know, flush together very well. Like, okay, there is like one or two killers to stand about amongst the crowd in a weird way. Uh, Trickster and Knight, for example, don't really fit the lore as, as good as the other ones do. But they still all like feel like they belong still and they, they do really go together well. Um, and also this game does have one of the best uh, live services, mod maybe the single best live service model we've ever seen for a video game. Uh, you never feel like you're getting robbed with this uh, game. It's just simply they release chapters gives you two or three survivors and one killer and introduces a new map for everyone. It doesn't do the Call of Duty thing where it splits the player base with uh, the maps being season pass tied or free to play tied. Um, in this game, everyone gets the maps. It's just up to you whether you want to unlock the rest of the content. And it's nice because this wasn't content, you know, it would be different if this was uh, content that was preloaded on the disc, but it's not. It's, it's continued effort and continued development to this day. So. Yeah, um, and the game is fairly balanced. Contrary to popular belief, the game is actually very balanced. Uh, particularly Survivor and Killer, they, they really do have an equal chance of winning. Uh, yes, the maps do influence things, and whether you play with friends or not greatly influences things. But in general, I'd say the balance is there. Uh, so yeah, it, this is a very fun game, very addicting, and uh, probably my favorite, um, again, not really a horror game, but probably my favorite horror game. Uh, just because I'm obsessed with those, uh, I'm obsessed with the big three when it comes to horror movies, of course. And while Friday the 13th is not in this one, um, you know, I, I still think there's a chance it could be, even though there is a Friday the 13th licensed video game, which is really fun, by the way. Um, but, uh, and I will be making a review for that. I still think there's a chance. Not a huge chance, but still a chance. Um, but, uh, yeah, also if you're curious what franchises made it into this game, that, so there's a lot of unique stuff that they did on their own that's clearly inspired by other stuff. But um, the, the strictly, you know, copy-pasted stuff is they have Ghostface from Scream and they did not have to purchase a license for that because they made up their own lore and that apparently that costume ghost mask is uh, free property, I guess, so they didn't have to uh, pay anyone to get that. So they've got Scream in here, they've got Nightmare on Elm Street in here. Unfortunately, the 2010 reboot version, but 
whatever, it's better than no Elm Street at all. And um, we've also got Halloween, of course, and we've got Saw, uh, we've got Resident Evil, and I might be missing one or two, but yeah, so there's a, there's a lot of big franchises in here. Um, so, okay. So, what's the problems with Dead by Daylight? Well, the first and biggest issue is this is the single worst community in all of gaming that ever existed. And that is including every single competitive multiplayer game like Dota 2, League of Legends, Apex Legends, CSGO, all of that. All, including all of that, like Dota 2, I've played a lot of Dota 2, I've put like over a thousand hours into it, and I've experienced some very heinous stuff. But honestly, Dead by Daylight's worse, okay? So at Dota 2, at least when those people are like, just, their brain is short-circuiting and they're just completely melting down, um, and just saying all this bigotry and stuff, and just shouting into their mic and all whatnot, and they just, like, at least, at least it's a ranked game that is competitive, so you can sort of understand why they're so pissed off. And Dead by Daylight, I will never understand why people are so pissed off in this game. It is an us versus them situation. Nobody likes each other in this game. Uh, it is just a bunch of egotistical narcissists that think they're owed something. So I would easily declare this the worst community in all of gaming. And that's not just like a rare case. In Dota 2, it's like 20% of the time you'll get like a terrible game, a terrible match with terrible people. Like, not in the sense of like noob teammates, but like in the sense of people that lose their minds and just like all chat, spam, swear words and stuff like that. In Dead by Daylight, it's 95% of the time you're going to have angry losers uh, playing the game with you. Um, if you're playing Survivor, they will run around emoting the point emotes at, uh, at where, like let's say, oh yeah, lockers. Don't ever go in a locker because even though they're a game mechanic, it is it is just a huge no-no to go in a red lock in a locker. So if you ever go in a locker, your teammates will go up to the locker and start pointing at you to let the killer know where you are because they're throwing. Um, and uh, if you, there's so many annoying things. But let's let's see if I can remember them all because I, I I've been playing a few matches today to refresh my memory. But it has been a while since I've experienced the worst of the worst. But like. Every single game, this is 100% of the time, okay? Maybe more like 99.99% .99 of the time. If you're playing killer, the survivors are all gonna wait by the exit and they're gonna spam teabag every single match, no matter what. Doesn't matter how nice you were or fair you were, they are always going to teabag. And uh, the reason that's annoying is because it's just pointless. Like you, every single time you play killer, you have to go, like they need an audience. Like I, it's just so stupid that they need an audience. So really it's the player base that's the problem with this game and not the mechanics itself. But um, the player base is just so, so bad and filthy that it really does greatly affect the gameplay experience. If you play with friends, totally different story. I'm sure you can have a blast. I obviously have played with friends a lot. Um, but if you're playing solo queue survivor, good luck. It is absolute hell. Um, so yeah, there's just so many annoying things. And also there's an unwritten rules listed by these people. You're not supposed, so on killer, you're not allowed to tunnel, you're not allowed to camp, uh, you're not allowed to play good, you're not allowed to win, and you're not allowed to mori, and you're not allowed to use add-ons, and uh, you're not allowed to play certain killers that are meta, you're not allowed to use certain perks that are meta. Obviously everything I just said is bullshit, but like that's the, that is the, uh, culture of this game. There's like an unwritten list of rules that you have to follow and survivors There's a list for them too, but they don't follow that. Okay, sometimes killers follow those rules But like survivors do not follow those rules. They are spamming tea bags uh, You know if, if I don't respect the pallet and they, they, they just think they're a champion when they throw a pallet down, down on me uh, Just because I wanted to try and swipe at them, but yeah, we got flashlight spammers But again like I'm like flashlight, right? Flashlight's annoying, but like it's in the game, so it's the same thing as lockers. So it's just I see both sides. Okay, I obviously I hate being tunneled, but at the same time, if the killer's losing, they gotta do what they gotta do. So face camping is like objectively griefing because if you face camp, you're uh, denying yourself uh, the rank up opportunity because you're getting too low blood points. Um, so face camping is the only thing that I agree on. Everything else I think is fair game. I think you can do whatever you want. Um, well, that and uh, camping the exits, I want that to stop. I, I just want it to stop so badly. It just extends, it, it's such a time waste. 
And uh, I've, I've proved this as well because sometimes I won't give them the audience and they'll just sit at the gate for like, you know, a few minutes and they'll just run out the timer because they just, they want you to come see them so badly. And if you're feeling particularly cheeky or if you're playing a stealth killer, you can wait outside the gate and then they'll come out and check where you are because they want to see where you are. And then if they're already injured, you can get them down on them. But uh, yeah, Dead by Day, it's just an awful, toxic game that um, really is only fun because, you know, just like Dota 2, sometimes the toxicity can uh, kind of contribute to the fun sometimes, but only when it's like fun competitiveness, like, you know, when, when you're, I don't even know, but like, just nobody does that. There's no... There's absolutely no good intentions from anyone playing this game. So, honestly, Dead by Daylight gets a 6 out of 10. Uh, personally, I don't recommend it to you unless you're going to uh, make sure your settings are privated so nobody can message you after the match is done. Uh, make sure friend requests are off and uh, don't join the ridiculous subreddit. They're just a bunch of losers there. Uh, don't join the Discord or anything. Bunch of losers there. So just make sure you avoid anyone and everyone who plays this game while you play this game. And I highly recommend playing it with friends. But um, to focus more on gameplay, I think I've talked about community too much, but like that is the biggest issue here. I think, um, I think the game could maybe do with evolving just a tiny bit. Uh, it's been stuck in this palette loop meta for since the beginning of when it came out in 2016, I believe. So how, how many years is that? It's six or seven years later now, and uh, we're still stuck in the same meta that we were six or seven years ago. So it would be nice if maybe the game could get a fresh face one day. Uh, that's really the only thing I can say. Uh, they have, of course, tweaked the killers. Like, Freddy was, Freddy was completely fixed. He was literally, he was unplayable garbage when he came out, but they have fixed him. So they have properly balance and tweak the game. But I'm just thinking, like, if lockers are such a no-no, just get rid of them, you know? Uh, if people hate flashlights so much, just get rid of them or change them. Um, but, like, I particularly hate the pallet loop meta. And I do that, I, I pallet loop when I'm on a survivor as well. Uh, basically, you know, this game is all mind games. And even though the killer's faster than you, slightly, you know, you can still completely outrun a killer. There's nothing they can do about it as long as you know what you're doing. Uh, because, you know, as a survivor, you have third person, and the killer only has first person, so uh, depending on which killer they are, they can't deal with the pallet loop, so sometimes I think pallet looping maybe needs to be addressed at some point. Maybe just, I don't know, I don't even know how to fix that, but honestly, Dead by Daylight is, I, I only, I play it a lot, I enjoy it, but I enjoy it for the wrong reasons, I'll admit that right now. I enjoy it because... When I get to be killer, I get to put the survivors in their place and just, you know, I'm not, it's not that I want them to be miserable, but it's like, if there's a particularly annoying survivor that's like spam teabagging after a pallet, the fact that I'm killer means I have control over the game to some degree. So I, I like, I, I'm not normally a power tripping kind of person, but this is the perfect game to power trip in if you just feel like having some control over some annoying ass internet losers. Like the like the absolute scum of the earth play this game. So if you want to just put them through a little bit of grief, this is the game to play for you. Um, and by grief, I just mean being good. You know, survive, like I said with Killer, I've gotten rank one multiple times. I get Merciless Killer 90% of my games because I play in a very certain hard to counter way with OP Killers. And trust me, I get tons of hate mail. Almost every single game I play, I'm getting some sort of message or friend request of people like telling me to kill myself or something. So. Dead by Daylight, awful game, but I enjoyed a lot, so 6 out of 10, and uh, thank you for watching.